Hey guys, what's up? It's Terror Dog. Welcome back to Ace Combat 5. For today's video, we are jumping into mission 27. So, as usual, if you've missed any of the prior videos in this series, I highly suggest you go back and get caught up so that you're not absolutely lost in the plot. And if you want to make sure you don't want to don't end up missing anything coming up, it might be a good idea to uh, subscribe as well. All right, let's get on with the gameplay. We've decoded the disc that the Major brought back with her. It contained the blueprints for a mass retaliation weapon, codenamed V2. A far more powerful weapon than the two tactical nukes that the Belt had used in the last war. It was never fully developed at the time. But it appears that they've secretly completed its construction in the 15 years since the war. The V-2 is a MERV missile. It could wipe out half of all the large cities in either Osea or Yuktabanya. So where would they deploy it? It had to be in the Seoul, which was also secretly completed and is now operational. After all, it was built to function as an orbital platform for such weapons in the first place. The Seoul itself is unmanned was controlled from the ground, but we didn't know where. Then, the intelligence vessel Andromeda tracked down the origin of Shantze's transmissions to the Arkbird. It's in the former South Belka, a state entrusted to Ocean rule, and now called North Ocean. To be more precise, the transmissions originated from an experimental facility owned by Grunder Industries, a manufacturer of the weapons we use. The president of Grunder has sworn allegiance to Ocea, but in truth, he was a secret member of the Grey Men. Under the guise of their experimental facility, they are actually digging a gigantic tunnel under the mountain range that runs along the border dividing North and South Belka. Their ultimate goal is to reunite the two Belkas. And in that tunnel... The Kestrel just took a missile hit. Enemy unknown. We can't identify it in time. Additional missile approaching. Rosgrees, launch immediately and gain altitude to escape. I don't want to launch immediately. I want to buy some new planes. So I'm going to buy some new planes first. Just going to go with uh, the F-22 because it's awesome. And, um... Obviously, there's some big stuff coming up in this mission, and uh, the F-22 is just going to be a great plane for it. All right. Let's go. This will probably be the last time this ship launches an aircraft. So go ahead and pick the best plane we got in here. Pick whatever you want. We'll catapult it into the sky. We're going to get you up there no matter what, all right? All right, so somehow they're planning to be able to launch just any plane, regardless of whether it is equipped to be able to uh, launch from a carrier or not. So um, I'm not sure how they plan to do that, but um, we're going to go with four F-22s because we can. Captain, please choose a plane for me to pilot. Captain, which plane should I use? Is this the formation you want? Ross Grease, launch! Concentrate on launching them. All hands not conducting aircraft launch, abandon ship immediately. We're getting you guys into the air no matter what. I don't care what happens to the catapult. That's not how it works. I don't have a launch bar to actually connect to the catapult. But, okay. Aircraft launch confirmed. Catapult crew will now evacuate the ship.
lost time and time again. But now, I finally won. Look, we launched them off safely. There's my victory. As long as they're in the air, I haven't lost. And I know they'll succeed. Yeah. The captain was humming a tune. The same song I heard from the anti-war audience in the stadium. He was the one playing that record in the middle of a sea battle. This is President Harlan of the Ocean Federation. Attention all Ocean and Yuktobanian officers and soldiers currently on the battlefield. Let us put down our guns and come out of the trenches. The Ocean capital of Alred has been freed of the people who took advantage of my absence to usurp control of the country. Once robbed of my freedom and of my ability to do the right thing, I now stand again under the light of the Golden Sun. And I do so with the Honorable Yuktobanian Prime Minister Nicanor by my side. We have resolved our terrible and unfortunate misunderstandings, and the war is now over. This is Prime Minister Nicanor, Head of Government for the Union of Yuktobanian Republics. Attention all officers and soldiers of Osia and Yuktobania currently on the battlefield. Please watch as President Harling and I stand shoulder to shoulder, hand in hand. President Harling's words are true. The war is over, but there is one more battle that still needs to be fought. We believe that those who have tried to stir hatred between us are now preparing a weapon that could wipe out half of all metropolitan areas in either one of our countries. Our comrades are in flight as I speak determined to stop this plan dead in its tracks. Which country is under the threat of mass destruction? That we do not know. However, that is no longer important. No matter which country is hit, it would be a severe blow to all of us. So now I ask you, members of the military, if you see it in your hearts, please utilize the resources available to you and help out our brave pilots. Right now, they are flying east to meet the enemy. To those who still dare to hide behind the power of their hateful weapons, bring yourself before the light of peace and harmony. Those are Yuk fighters. This is the Yuktobanian 703rd Squadron. We heard the President's speech. We will fight with you. Let us sing that song too. We're going with you. So are we. attack the Solg control system located in a giant tunnel under the Valdrak Mountains. 
The tunnel entrance is located at the foot of the mountains and the entire area is covered by mountains and waterways. First, an armored force will try to move in from the town to infiltrate the wharf where the entrance to the control system is located. There are several enemy defense positions built along the path that the armored force will take, so air support will be vital for their invasion. Meanwhile, a helicopter formation will attack the control system entrance and capture the nearby area. We're also expecting the helicopters to face anti-air resistance, so we'll need support to put down enemy fire around the entrance. Your squadron's mission is to protect the armored force and clear out a landing area for the Helleborn fleet. Once both units capture the facility entrance, a special forces team will open up the shutter blocking the way inside. Go through the open entrance and destroy the Solg control system from the inside. All right, this is it. Let's go. I didn't suppress all of them yet. Pretty sure I didn't. Can that make it? No, it can't. I'll have to get it another time. Alright. We're going to go back, kill this Sam. Thanks for finishing him off. It's extremely convenient. Well, pillboxes usually take one missile and like six bullets to kill. These pillboxes seem to take more hits for some reason. Let's see what the planes. Yeah, I already blew everything up. Oh, 
Oh, did it dodge it? You dodge my Fox 3. Eat some Fox 2s. There we go. a blueprint of the tunnel facility on the Major's disc. The soul control system is in the deepest part of the tunnel. We can't touch it from the entrance. Fly into the tunnel, attack the control system in the deepest part of the complex, and escape out the tunnel exit on the opposite side. This is extremely dangerous, but there's no other way to do this. There are two central components to the control system. You must destroy them both, but you can only destroy one of them per attack run. Furthermore, the ground forces will not be able to keep the entrance shutters open for very long. There's not enough time for you to go back into the tunnel again after the first run. So, a separate plane will have to go in from the other side at the same time. We have only one chance. Synchronize your run with the second plane to attack both components simultaneously and destroy the Sol control system. Yeah, remember when Pops had his dive into the tunnel and final option when we were running away from the 8492nd Squadron? This is the moment he was getting us ready for. Let's jump in here. But first, I'm going to kill these planes. It's free money. I'm gonna slow down here because that door up ahead is closed every every single time. Open, thank you. Alright, mission complete.
the Solg's descent was detected by our radar at 0445 hours. We believe it was programmed to automatically descend if control was ever cut off from the surface. We have calculated the Solg's course of descent from its previous orbit. Its estimated landing point is downtown Aured, the capital of Osia. Get to the Solg's descent point as quickly as possible and destroy it before it hits Aured. You must complete the mission and come back alive. Anything less is not acceptable. Rosgrees, we wish you the best of luck. Launch. All right. Let's finish this. Your final sortie. It's almost kind of sad, huh? All right, launch preparations complete. Let's do this. Roger, Archer, engaging. Roger, Swordsman, engaging. Roger, Edge, engaging. Yeah, we got plenty of time to get there. Fox three. Eight tough enemies. My heart's racing. My whole body shaking. Let's try it again. already I'm not getting close enough that's the thing There we go. Just remember, my birthday's 
There it is. Actually, you could fly in this tunnel, but uh, I'm going to save that for another time. It's a fancy quick hill. Well, New Year's fireworks are going to be a little early, about 18 or so hours early. death upon the land, and then it dies. However, after a period of slumber, Rosgrease returns, this time as a great hero.
peace has once again spread across the world. The aces of Rosgris never flew in the skies of battle again. Above the clouds, there was only a clear blue sky, no longer in need of heroes. And perhaps, that's exactly what they were hoping for, all this time. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You probably don't want to sit through all the credits, so I'll be skipping them. But, um... This is not the end of Ace Combat 5. As I said, this is 100% campaign, not any percent campaign. So, um... We'll be continuing next time with a new mode that's been unlocked called Free Mission that allows us to go back and play the missions again. You know, just select a mission and play it. Or how about go after those missions that we missed on the coin tosses? Yeah. Um... That sort of deal. I'm gonna to have to come up with a backup strategy here because uh, my notes had me redoing a bunch of missions where I thought it was impossible to S rank them on the first run. And then I S ranked them on my first run. So, um, all the practice I did on the original version on PS2, I could not S rank it under the initial conditions of an initial playthrough of the campaign. And here I, I just I went and I did it. I don't know. It's crazy. Okay. So um We'll likely just be going straight into New Game Plus. And then figuring something out from there. Alright. So we're going to save here. And before I end the video... We're going to come in here... Into the gallery. Take a look at these medals. Right. So, yeah, there's some gaps here. What is this? This is... So we need the gold shooter. That'll just happen automatically. I think I have to like kill like 50 enemy planes using only the machine gun. And with the UAVs in mission 2, that'll be easy. Uh, Desert Eagle. So yeah, there's a, a mission. You get a medal here for one of the missions that uh, I missed on a coin toss. I missed one. I missed an S rank somewhere. I'm going to look and see where it is. Oh yeah, that's right. All the all the missions I missed on the coin toss. So everything here, everything that I played through, got an S rank. So yeah, but we're we're gonna leave those other missions for later because um because I need to buy some more planes before I do those missions. So, yeah. Alright, well, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next time. Goodbye.